Hey, Trisha. So you're going to be totally annoyed. Um, 8 times negative 5, negative 40. That's, that's the only place you went wrong. All the rest of it is like, if that were true, everything else is right. Um, so if we change that to a 40, here's where we'll go. Um, so that would be a negative, oops, negative 30x and then minus 10y equals negative 40 and 30x plus 12y equals 36. And then we get our 2y, and then that equals negative 4, and then we end up y equals negative 2. And I think if you back solve that, um, that will come out to positive 2 for the, the x. Let's see, 6 plus 2 times negative 2 equals 8. 6x, so that's minus 4 equals 8. Add that over, yep, and then the 6x equals 12, and x equals 2. Um, on a side note, a little bit easier way to do this one. Let me just show you that. Um, with, there's nothing wrong with doing the 6 and the 5. That will work. But kind of as this one is showing, the more math you have to do, the more places there are for you to do something silly to it. Um, get that out of there. Um, and so that's why I always try to grab the root with the least amount of math so I can't mess it up. Um, so with that in mind, if I look at these two y's, they're already, they're both 2's. So if I just did, say, 6x plus 2y equals 8, and then I just did the negative of this one, so I multiplied it by negative 1, I get a little bit easier math. Not by a ton, but this comes out x, that cancels, and that's 2. So it's just it's a few less steps in there. Um, and any time I could kind of spot a direction where I do a little less math, again, it just removes spots for me to do something silly to it. Um, so hopefully that helps.